All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and you, you've tuned in at the right time. We're gonna do an awesome power building workout for your push muscles. So your first exercise now, okay, so I've made an adjustment right off the bat. Normally you're gonna to wanna to do barbell work. It's either gonna be a barbell flat bench or a barbell incline bench. Now, you know, if you've, if you've followed me for through the years, I don't usually do that to start, but I do make an exception on you know, not so heavy work. So what we're doing is a percent based uh, load right here. And we're gonna start with six sets of five at 65% of your one rep max. So these aren't gonna be brutal sets. Uh, we are taking only a 60 second break between sets. Now, I would normally do this, like I said, on a barbell uh, with a lower percent based work because you're not gonna get injured but I do have a little bit of strain um, that I'm working around. So I'm gonna use a machine and I love this machine, but I want you to start with six sets of five on a flat bench or an incline bench at 65% of your one rep max and only take 60 seconds between sets. So you're gonna love this workout, it's phenomenal. So let's get started on this first exercise. All right, so how would you build this overall into a program? So we did 65% today. What I would advise you to do would be to next week go to 70%, then we after that go to 75%. The, I got all the reps today, but on the very last rep, the last couple reps of the last set, it was really, really tough. So it's gonna get more challenging to go up each week, and that's how you wanna progress. Even if it's two or 3%, but maybe I'm building a program with someone who's really good at powerlifting right now, and maybe this is what one of the workouts look like. You'll have to stay tuned and see what happens. So again, your barbell, like I use a machine today, but I want you guys to pretty much use a barbell unless you have, unless you have injuries. Um, six sets of five, 60 second breaks. You should get all your reps, but the fourth and fifth set will get a little tougher um, and explode through the movement. I want you to drive it up explosively. Okay, next up is incline dumbbell presses. So you're gonna do some feeder sets to get up to your tough set. Feeder sets are just where you do three, four reps, so you don't just go right in and go right up to the heaviest dumbbell. It just gets you safely up to your working weight. And then once you get to your working weight, well, I should explain what that's gonna be. I want you to use a weight that's a tough set of eight. So I want you to be able to finish eight reps and not be able to do nine. So your eighth rep should be failure. Now, if you do seven and you fail, or if you do nine and you fail, no big deal. I just want you in that ballpark range. And then your next set is a drop set. So you're gonna do the same weight to failure, then you're gonna cut about, I would say 30% of your weight and go to failure. So let's say you do 80 pounds. So you do 80 for eight, you barely get your eighth one, then your drop set would be 80 for probably seven or eight, and then you drop it down 30%, maybe you do 55, for example, and you just go to failure. Um, so it's two working sets, a tough set of eight, and then another, you probably won't get eight, you might get seven, but then, and then drop. Now, one thing I'll tell you is people overestimate how much they can do out on their drop. So I've seen people go from 100, oh, I'm only gonna go down to 85 or 80, and then they'll do like three reps and they're done. Don't, oh, don't underestimate how much you need to come down. You need to come down probably 30%. So just, just keep that in mind when you're, when you're doing this. Um, but that is your second exercise for the day. Okay, next up, you're gonna do a machine fly. Hopefully I have a machine, you can do these. We're lucky we got the variable resistance machine. Basically we're doing one drop set. So find a weight that's a tough 10, so where you can barely get 10, and drop the weight down. Now on this you can drop it down 20, 25%. You don't need to go 30, 35%, cause I only want to do another five or six reps. So a good hard 10, look at my range of motion, look how I'm opening up my chest and really stretching. And then uh, failure, drop the weight down, go to, go to failure again. Should be another five, six, oh. or seven. Make sure you're not Let's hunching down two plates. four when you do these. Just two. Make sure you're keeping your sternum lifted. Make sure you just think, think big chest. Big chest, big expanded chest. Good range of motion. And it'll feel like your sternum, the fibers that attach here, it'll feel like they're on fire uh. if you do these right. And that's uh. exercise number three. Come on, John. Uh. Stern. All right, so now we move on to, these are really fun, the Smith uh, shoulder press. 
Now, you know I'm not a big believer in heavy overhead pressing. It can be really hard on your shoulders, can create a lot of injuries down the road. But, uh, and especially, think about it. So the ref scheme, we're going to do a heavy set of three here. So we're going to work up very slowly to a set of three. I want really good control on these. So very good control, nothing sloppy, a hard set of three. Then I want you to back the weight down a little bit and do two sets of five. So uh, again, I know um, you probably heard me talk about not doing a lot of overhead pressing, but doing these to the front and the Smith machine with good tempo, you'll be, you'll be just fine. The other thing I would say is don't lower the bar below your chin. Uh, if you try to take that baby all the way down to your uh, chest and touch it, you're probably going to a little bit of internal rotation in your shoulder. Again, you're probably going to wake up the next day and your shoulders are making a little bit. So stay in that groove, right down to the bottom of your chin, stay in the groove, take it up. One hard set of three. You should be able to get all three reps, it should be tough. And then back down the weight, two sets of five. So this is, this is some fun stuff, some really heavy weight here. But I'd rather you do it on something like this when you're going to do the sets of like three as opposed to something like, uh, uh, you know, a behind the neck military press where if you do a heavy triple, there's a good chance you're, you're probably going to beat your shoulder girdle up and suffer down the road. Um, so you can train with heavy weight safely if you're just creative enough. And this is a way to do it right here. Okay, next up are Y raises. So this is where you bring your hands up at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Um, now we're going to lighten the weight a little bit and we're going to go reps. So let's do two sets of 15 here. Um, these, so interestingly enough, when I do that three and the two fives on the Smith, my shoulder actually burn from that. It's, it, that tempo, I think, that tension. Uh, so that your shoulder should already be burning actually, just from that few, few reps. But uh, now let's just burn them even more. <laughs> so two sets of 15 on the Y raise. Just make sure when you set the bench up on these, it's at a really high incline. And try to get the weight up pretty high. It actually is good for your side delt, um, believe it or not, uh, at that 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock angle. But you gotta get up high. You gotta get up high into the movement though. So just make sure you don't cheat these. And you know, I'm all about partials, but not on this exercise. You gotta get these up real high. Okay, so you've probably seen plate raises before. People have been doing these since I don't know when. And generally what you see is Something that looks like this. So, we'll do these. That's a really good old school exercise for your shoulders. Um, <clears throat> now you can make some adjustments with your form and range of motion here so that you actually get your lower traps much more involved. And basically what it does, or what it entails, it's just using more of the upper end range of motion. So now you're gonna come back this way. I'm only using 25 pounds here. That last little bit is actually really hard. But I've got a, um, a bumper plate, I guess that's what you call these, because it's wider. And I actually want my hands to be a little bit wider. All right, we're not done yet. We got to keep working. So we're going to get a little bit more direct tricep work in. We're just doing a simple push down here. This attachment, I really like for the lateral head of your triceps uh, a lot. So what we're doing here is we're doing three really strict sets of 12. Um, make sure you do these really, really strict. Keep your elbows tucked in. Let your wrist come up all the way so your tricep stretches. I see so many people that kind of cut the rep in half. Go ahead and let those wrists come up. Keep your elbows tucked in and drive the weight straight down and flex your triceps. So, three sets of 12 right here, and then you'll be ready for your last exercise of the day. Okay, and your last exercise for today are these dumbbell kickouts that I like to do for tries. So you're gonna lower the weight with really good control. Now I like to touch the dumbbell actually to my front delt, my front, uh, front of the shoulder, and so you get a good range of motion, a good stretch, and then kick the weight up, uh, we're doing three sets of about eight here. I will tell you my triceps were pretty fried. Um, I think I probably would have been good if I just done one set. If you think about the heavy Smith pressing we did and the, the chest pressing, the, the drop set we did, that, there's always a lot of triceps when you do drop sets too on pressing. So triceps are fried, shoulders got that good heavy work in, and of course
course, we started fresh when hitting our chest hard. That's it for this workout. Um, I really, really like doing this workout. So give this a shot and let me know what you think. And uh, until next time, as always, I appreciate all your support.